Hey there guys, so today we're going to try out how can we evade the antivirus. So over here, I'm going to check my IP first. Okay, so the IP is this one. Then we try to use MSF random to generate our payload first. Okay, our host equal to this one. Uh, port equal to a and a zero. Yes, e, and then I save it as payload as e. Okay, so later on, let's wait for it to generate first. Later on, we're gonna try it out over here. Oh yeah, in my Windows 7 PC, I've installed an Avira free antivirus, and I've updated my virus definition definition to the latest virus definition. So later on, we're gonna upload to here and test it out see can it detect or not so we have done generated it we go so where we are right now okay we want to put the payload let's eat into there okay so we try to scan first okay as you can see if we use the normal version without specifying anything else over here it seems like look file walker it detected the payload so we apply it okay stop it and then so let's try to check and see if we upload into the virus total so payload right we upload the payload we check it out we see how many antivirus has detected this one as a malware this one, yeah, I'm gonna close it and it. Yeah, okay, close it first. Okay, seems quite a lot. You detected so uh, over here is an Avira, right? We try and check and see over here. Avira, yeah, as you can see, Avira detected this one as a patch gen 2. So we try to use this one the shikata ganai this one the encoder we try to encode it and then we make our iteration to 12 we wait for it to generate first then we try and see with this one the result it's still analyzing over here so basically if you want to let our victim to execute our payload, we need to make sure what are the antivirus that the victim installed in the PC. So we need to check and see over here. So like for example, in my testing machine over here, I've installed the Avira, right? So I need to check and see the Avira the part. So does the payload able to execute or not? Does it detect or not? We need to check and see the result over here. So it seems like the previous one detected 56. So we try to check and see after we encoded with Shikata Ganai. So we try to upload it to virus total again. Then we check and see how many payload has been detected. How many antivirus detected the payload? Seems like quite a amount over here. Fifty-six. Fifty-six. This one it increased fifty-seven. It seems like even we encoded it, it in some antivirus also detected it as a malware over here. So our Avira, yeah, no hope over here because he detected it too. So now mind. Now we try to use a Python script which is this one, the PE cloak. So just now we generated our payload right and then we use Python PE PE cloak PE cloak. We try and check and see with this one. See how many detected it. So we put a payload over here. Okay, so this one we rename it the payload. Okay, and then we name it as 
activate the ESE. Okay, and then we upload it again, we check and see. Now we are going to find a way to evade the Avira antivirus. So we need to try out some a few encoders or any tools to obfuscate it. So this one, 48 antivirus detected it. And our Avira also detected it as a malware. It detected it as a heuristic, I think it used heuristic method to detect it. And forty-nine. So these are all the antivirus that doesn't detect it. So as you can see over here, if the the previous one Avast detected it as a malware. So if you use the Python script to obfuscate it, right? And then over here it shows like Alvast doesn't detect it. So, like this case, if let's say my victim installed Alvast, right? So I need to use this Python script to obfuscate it. So, in order to bypass the Alvast, the antivirus detection. So, okay. So in this case, our Avira detected it, right? So we can't use this method. So we need to use another method. In this case, I'm gonna use this one. Vendor resources. No, not hacker real. Shelter. We're gonna use this one, the shelter. So this one we put the auto, and then over here the PE target. This one we we gonna use this one. Our prompt.exp this one I just think uh, some random executable program right, to append it with the with the what the river shell payload so okay over here we set our PE target and then we let it start okay press enter okay we let we let it run first right now Hmm. This one gonna take quite a while to run it. Later after we successfully generated this one the payload, right? We try to upload into virus total the chat and see. Okay, done. So this one we select self mode and then we use the list of payload. This one I'm going to use the interpreter reverse TCP. So the L host will be our machine, the IP address. Then I'm going to set this one as my listener port. Then we're ready to generate it out. Okay, enter. Done. So this one is our injected payload. So it inject into a normal executable program. So right now, we try to upload into virus total to check it out. Oops, I upload the wrong folder. I run the wrong file. This one you upload this one. Yeah, wrong exp. So we are loyal here. We check it out. Does Avira detect it or not? Hmm. So far is green. It seems like quite amount of antivirus that doesn't detect it. Seems like a good idea to obfuscate our the, our malware, right? So 
after we scan we found 11 engine detected in only so of avira where's our avira yeah over here it doesn't detect it so we can try it out to upload the malware into the windows 7 pc to check and see so we try to upload it we put from SP over here and then here I need to use the multi handler because I want to open up my listener so I set my L host equal to this one no port I set to my listener port start it out okay so let's try to do a normal scanning on this this process so Avira scanned it as this one is a clean executable program. So right now we try to execute it. So see it run normally, right? We try and change it over here. And it opened a session, a meter session. So it seems like we're using the shelter this payload injector, right? we can get our reverse shell so we can bypass the antivirus so this one shows that it, the result is correct we can bypass Avira antivirus by using the shelter so over here I can start up my shell right I can start up my shell let's make an example like PC born by nobody at all and then I say yes read me .txt and then start notepad.txt with me.txt and oops notepad.txt not found okay i got it start note sorry start notepad then with me.txt okay voila see I have successfully owned the Windows 7 PC even though it installed an, I an antivirus over here but I have successfully evaded this antivirus so that's all for the video thanks guys bye bye